Hey pandas, it's Amanda and I'm back with another YouTube video. So if you are a panda fan and you're subscribed and you saw my last two videos, then you know I vlogged about going to LA and my pre-op appointment and how that went. I told y'all I was gonna make an updated video like after the first three months. And I'm definitely on like my eighth month now. So that was a fucking lie. I got my boobs done on June 9th. I asked you guys to just send me questions you guys had for me on Instagram about the surgery, the process, the healing, and all that. And now's my time to answer them for you. So the first question I have is, how much did they cost? How much did I pay? Well, let me tell you about the separate costs first because you're gonna need the money to book the actual appointment, I think the pre-op appointment that costs, like you have to actually put a deposit down. And then before you even book your surgery, they take a $500 deposit. And that basically goes towards the whole surgery cost. So minus the 500 deposit total, my boobs were nine bands. Who was my surgeon? Dr. Luis Macias. So if you look him up on Instagram, it's gonna say Dr. Luis, <laughs> Dr. Luis Macias is spelled D-R-L-U-I-S-M-A-C-I-A-S. And he's, um, <laughs> he's what? He does more than, you know, just boob jobs. So if you want anything else done to like your perfection, He's the surgeon for that. I definitely recommend him because I asked him all the questions I needed to ask. He told me everything I needed to know. He made sure like I wanted what I wanted. He made sure the size was perfect. Like I didn't stay too small to where I'd be like, damn, it feels like I didn't really do anything. The next question was, was I nervous? I'm trying to think of what part I was specifically nervous at because I was not nervous at all. How to get titties. I'm nervous, I'm getting naked. I was nervous the surgery day. Like that was the day I was like, damn. Like I'm really about to get surgery. I'm about to go under the knife. That's a big decision. But I did all my research as anybody should do if you're gonna do any type of cosmetic surgery. I did all my research about everything that could go wrong and all the shit that could happen if my body rejects the implants, breast implant illness, all that other stuff. I definitely scared myself into not wanting to do it, but I did it. Only time I was nervous was just right before the surgery. And then after that, I was, if you really wanna watch how I was like right after the surgery or the day of the surgery, then go back to my last video and watch that because that explains the whole process and how I was feeling and all that good stuff. So next question, how did the surgery go? And where did you go? So the surgery, um, I was put to sleep that's just it i didn't feel anything but pressure when i woke up i went to sleep loopy and happy and flat chested and then i'm trying to remember where and when i actually really woke up oh my god there's a mosquito in here i gotta kill it i got to hold on anyway um how did it go where did i go I went to LA. I'm trying to remember like what part of LA I think it is. I think it's Marina Del Rey. Like I said before, I went to sleep. Well, I was really loopy when the, you know, medicine start kicking in. I was feeling woozy as fuck. And then I woke up with boobs. Yeah, boobs. The boobs look fabulous. But I didn't feel Pain. The pressure was so heavy on my chest because these were up here. So it's like I was struggling to breathe. Like I was just like, I was sitting in the wheelchair when they rolled me out and it felt like I was like, 
like it felt like I was fighting to breathe because the pressure felt so tight and then even trying to take really deep breaths it hurt because everything up here was really tight and just killing me at that point since I did get my implant through the armpit if you guys were wondering that as well I did get my incision through the armpit freshly shaved so y'all can see the incision it's still quite I mean not too visible but it's there my doctor did let me know that it's more likely for implants to rise so I had to wear this surgical band across my chest to press them down and that band alone was just I wanted to take it off so bad, but of course I didn't want my titties rising up on, up to my collarbone. So I had to keep it on and yeah, just the pressure was really bad and the itchiness. My titties were so itchy and that's another thing you can't scratch, you know, it creates stretch marks and all that other stuff. And not being able to sleep on my stomach because I am a stomach and side sleeper and I had to sleep on my back for like months like weeks months i could not sleep on my stomach i couldn't sleep on my side the most i was doing was like getting a pillow and putting it on the side of me just to like keep this here and then i'd like lay on the side hella uncomfortable and i don't recommend that because i don't know i don't think i was supposed to be laying on my side but just listen to your doctor you really can't even sleep straight back like i couldn't sleep like straight on my back i had to be propped up a ways you know just so they would like naturally kind of drop or I had to like sit up sleep so everything was just really irritating about that process next question did I get silicone or the other one so I'm assuming you mean saline so the difference with the gummy bear implants what from what my doctor told me is even if they were punctured I wouldn't suffer from like leakage. So if anything happens, if it pops or anything like that, it won't leak out the implant. I like what he recommended for me because the gummy bear, it looks good. I don't feel like they're hard. I can squeeze them, they're squishy. They feel like boobs. What is your bra size now and how big did you go? I haven't worn a bra since I got them done. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I can assume that I'm a, a C. I'm probably a C now. Originally, this was my bigger boob. And this boob is what made me a B because this boob was still kind of an A. CC's, I think he put 350, 355. You know, I love this question. How long have you been wanting boobs? That's a really good question because I can say I've wanted boobs all my life for as long as I can remember. I only considered the surgery for a couple months and then I made the decision like, you know what, I'm going to do it. It's what I want, so I'm going to do it. But yeah, I've wanted boobs all my life. Don't laugh at me. When I was little, I used to fill up them little tiny water them water balloons them little <laughs> don't laugh at me y'all i used to fill up these little tiny water balloons and when nobody was home i would shove them in my little shirt and i just walk around the house um, i mean i i was i i was playing my mom doesn't have really big boobs nobody in my family really has big boobs like we're a family of butt and booty really and i ain't even got that I felt like boobs were something I was never gonna grow. And of course people say, well, you haven't had kids yet. Da, da, da. I don't want to wait to have kids to have titties. That shouldn't be the sacrifice I have to make just to want my body to look a certain way I feel. What if I don't want kids right now, but I want titties right now. So I got titties. That's just that. Now ass, I can grow me some ass. I can get my little ass in the gym and start eating right and and you know cake this motherfucker up max the fuck out capped it's capped to the max next question any regrets mm, 
any regrets. If anything, I kind of sort of low key wish I went a little bigger. And I know that sounds crazy, but when I had titties in my mind and I pictured them in my mind, and of course, let me tell y'all, your boobs are not going to look like my boobs. I'm envisioning, you know, girls with my boobs or how they looked before they got theirs done. So I'm like, okay, that's how mine's gonna look. Your boobs are never gonna look like anybody else's boobs. My doctor already told me, he's like, your boobs are perfect before I got them done. So if anything, when people tell me, I thought they were natural, I thought they were yours, it's cause I kinda wanted that look. I didn't wanna look like I got my titties done. But I didn't want too much to where it was like giving me back problems or it didn't look natural anymore. So I'm glad I went with this size. My doctor did ask me, he said, when you wake up, what is your fear like are you scared of being too big or too small and i said i don't want to wake up and be like what's the difference i could have went a little bigger just, just a little bigger but i'm happy i'm happy with my size throughout the whole healing process i was very iffy and having a lot of regrets because I'm like, damn, what did I do to my body? You know, they were still looking weird. They were up here still. This one was dropping faster than this one. And this one was still kind of up here and this one was down here. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, what did I do to my body? What if something went wrong? They're all hard. They weren't getting soft. I couldn't feel my nipples for the longest. My doctor told me about that though. He said, you're not gonna feel any nipple and that's gonna come back but sometimes it doesn't and that's what really scared me because I'm like I know I did not just get I'm let me just stop for a second I'm very in tune with my body when he told me that sensation may not come back for others I'm like did I just risk getting my boobs done to sacrifice one of my sexual pleasures stupid the last appointment i just had with him uh in january i was like i feel nipple I'm like i can feel my nipples now <laughs> you're gonna go through a lot of ups and downs after you have surgery like i was super happy at one point i'm like i got titties and then i felt like i was getting depressed at another point because i was scaring myself with videos again about shit going wrong with other girls and why does this boob still feel hard why is it still up here why do i not feel my nipples yet did i go too small why my titties ain't that big they don't look that big so yeah i was going through a lot you know mentally and physically <laughs> over these couple of months I feel like I'm in a better place now, you know? I'm happy with the choices I've made. The girls look great. And if you're trying to see anything closer than that, then the OnlyFans link is in my bio. <laughs> well, that was all the questions. Um, if you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them if I didn't in the video already. And if I did, I'ma just give you the timestamp where i answered your question already but other than that like i said more vlogs challenges pranks videos just content period coming soon for y'all and i'm going to be more consistent get used to seeing my face youtube bye pandas